What is going on guys? Welcome back to Monday's video. Now, um, one of the most sought after or asked question on Amazon FBA, whether you're on YouTube or whatever, or on Facebook groups, is how can I get my product on page one? How can I have my product appear higher in ranking so that actually people see it and buy it, right? So before we do that, you have to understand how Amazon works. In order for Amazon to put your product on page one or your listing on page one, you have to have sales velocity. What is sales velocity? It basically means having more sales. The more sales you have, the more the Amazon algorithm detects that your product is popular actually, and it starts pushing it higher in the pages so that you can end up on page one. But how can we get our sales velocity high? How can we start selling? There are three important things that you can do and I'm gonna go through it in much more detail, but the three most important things you can do, first one is an optimized listing and backend keywords. Think of it as SEO for your listing, and that's exactly what it is. You gotta optimize it with certain keywords that when people search for it, it will appear in search. The second absolute important thing you can do is giveaways. So when you're launching your product for the first time, you gotta start giving, doing giveaways, which means whether it'll be a 90% coupon or a 50% coupon, or you're giving away product for free, you gotta start doing that in order to build sales. And that's the part of any business, like any business that starts, they start to do some kind of promotion in the beginning to get people interested, create a buzz, and it's a marketing tactic, right? So that's the absolute second best thing you can do. And the third thing you can do is to advertise through Amazon's advertising platform which is called PPC which is pay-per-click so when you advertise with that platform what Amazon does is it takes certain keywords and uh, pushes your product up in the page for certain keywords and it charges it charges you advertising dollars for when people click on your listing so that's what it stands for pay-per-click so these are the absolute three best ways to get started, get your sales going, and so without further ado, let's get right into it. Let's get into the nitty gritty details of how you can actually achieve that. All right, let's get inside. All right, hey guys, what's going on? So let's get started. Now, uh, if you guys haven't seen my previous videos, you know that I work with Merchant Words quite frequently. Now, it's one of the most strongest keyword search tools that you can not only use to find um, a specific keywords or products on um, that you can sell on Amazon but also you can use the keywords that you find in order to optimize your listing so which is the first thing that we're gonna do since we're starting out so we're gonna make sure that we optimize our listing we make sure we do the SEO properly and we make sure we come up with a catchy title that has those words in it very important so what I do is, um, if you've guys seen my second or third video that I did, I searched for a product called Baby Doll. So let's go back into that so we can take this chronologically. Um, what we're going to do is find specific keywords that we can use uh, to put in our listing in the back end and also use those keywords to generate the title. So when we search Baby Doll, you will see that uh, we get all kinds of keywords, now over 100. Uh, or so so or with different volumes and everything so what you need to do is the convert this into CSV so basically download it um, once it's downloaded what I would like to do is try to search like three four different types of phrases so the second one that I'm gonna do is uh, baby doll accessories or baby doll or maybe dolls specifically so you can actually click on these words and then it'll load a subcategory so I clicked on the doll. Now the second list that I'm going to get, I'm going to also export that into CSV. So here it is. Okay. It's downloading right here. Now I would like to do another two to make sure that I cover all my bases and search all kinds of keywords. So let's take a look at some of the stuff in the bottom. Um, now I know that this LOL doll is popular. Barbie doll is popular. So let's search for Barbie. Um, and see what kind of keywords come up with that doll because I'm sure a lot of people search for that doll is a very popular doll so I want those keywords to be in there so when people search for it and if it's a doll that is close to a Barbie or it is a Barbie I'm selling I want those words to be in there so let's take that and uh, export it as CSV as well alright so the third one in the bottom 
All right, guys. So what I have done just to not waste time is I've basically compiled all the data in from these three CSVs into one Excel file. All right. So let's go into that right here. And um, I've sorted it by volume. So this is your monthly volume of searches that you get over a month's period. So that's what it is. And what you need to do is now generate your keywords or generate your um, backend listing keywords from these that you see. The reason I sorted this by search volume is because I want to make sure I uh, use the keywords that are in the top 100. So I'm just going to highlight the top 100 that I see here. So let's go. And the top 100, you'll see that it's still being searched 18,352 times a month, which is great because I want it to be over 10,000 for sure. Now, you need to enter these keywords in the back end of your listing in order to optimize it for maximum impact. And also, your title should also come from these. So if you're doing a title, let's say it's going to be like baby doll um and you can kind of include like certain keywords from there. So um, you can type in um, a Barbie doll for babies uh, with nightgowns. Um, so anything that you see that you can turn into a title to make it like a really good title, uh, use that. And that's important because what we're going to do with that is we're going to actually take that to the next level, which is our second part of uh, keywords. Uh, uh, which is our second part of uh, optimizing our listing and to actually get our listing on top uh, on page one. So what you're going to do from there is you're going to, once you've optimized your listing, you've generated your title, you're going to basically copy that title and you're going to give it to people who are you doing giveaways for. So if you have a group of people that you've already selected, whether they come from Facebook friends or whether they're your personal friends that you're doing giveaways for, and you said, okay, I'm gonna give you guys a coupon of 90% or what have you, you have to make sure that those guys search the keyword that you give them, which is basically your title. Your title, they have to search it exactly the same way. And there is a reason for that. It allows you to actually trick the algorithm, the Amazon algorithm, thinking that, okay, these are the keywords that are searched and these are the keywords that should be associated with your listing. And whenever somebody else searches for those kinds of keywords, it will actually put your product or your listing um, a bit higher in the page or even like um, uh, closer to page one and kind of thing. So it's kind of like tricking the algorithm that you're, um, you're being searched, right? So that's what it is. The second thing, or which is actually should be the first thing, is you have to make sure you know the number of giveaways you're giving. And how would you know that? You have to search. So let's go back. What I'm going to do is let's go to Amazon. And we're going to find out what our top competitor is selling at. How many units a day they're selling. So we're going to search baby doll. All right. And we're going to see, okay, these are the top listings um, on page one of Amazon for this keyword. And we're going to go run Jungle Scout against it because we want to see how many units our top competitor is selling. Reason being that you have to make sure you do at least, at least that many units a day in giveaways as your top competitor is selling. This is also to trick the Amazon algorithm thinking that, okay, your product is actually selling this many units a day. And you're going to do this for three to four days back to back. And it's very important. I know that it could cost you a little bit of money, but this is really going to help you guys because for three to four days, your product is going to start generating sales because even though you're doing giveaways with coupons, Amazon is going to think that your product is being searched for with those specific keywords and also it's being bought. So it is very, very important. So let's take a look like uh, the top toy that is selling in this one, uh, which is in a gift box is 50. Now you don't want to do 50 a day. That's a little bit ridiculous. But um, what we want to do is we want to make sure we're doing at least 15 a day. So uh, some of the top sellers, I'm just looking at the price points that I wanted to sell this. So we are doing, hmm. 
Okay, so the price that I was looking at was around thirty dollars. So I'm just trying to see how many, how many. Okay, twelve units, which is twenty four ninety nine. Okay, um, so I'm looking for more direct competitors. Keep in mind that not everything here is your direct competitor. So you have to see which is the baby doll that you were selling, and this was one of them that we were gonna get into. So you gotta make sure it's the same product. So this one, no, nope, not that one. So 12 inch baby dolls, $24.99. It's doing six units a day. More like it. Now this guy is doing 46 units a day. Um, if you're getting into that type of doll, you have to make sure that you are giving away as many, you're giving away as many uh, units as your top competitor is selling. And maybe slightly more, just to trick the algorithm, to let them know that, hey guys, I'm selling more. I'm actually like Amazon is going to detect that you're actually selling more even though you're providing coupons 90% or what have you you're selling more so for the first three four days it is going to cost you a little bit of money but that is actually really going to optimize your listing it's going to put it on page one even and it will it's the fastest way to get on page one so that's our goal keep that in mind guys and the third way which is our PPC campaign um, is really good because it allows you to advertise now if you are already doing the first two steps you don't need to start PPC right away but if you do all of this together it'll really give you guys the boost that you need so PPC you got to make sure that you, you set a daily limit of at least 30 to 50 dollars now you're not gonna you're not gonna basically um, use all that 50 to 30 to 50 dollars a day of advertising money that's just to let Amazon know that hey I'm willing to spend this much money so Amazon is gonna actually put that into priority because a lot of people do ten dollars a day but it's gonna give whoever is uh, advertising the most or uh, have a higher budget daily budget it's gonna actually uh, select those listings and push it forward because of course Amazon wants to make money right so uh, they know that the more clicks people make on your uh, listing the more money they make now I know it's not you are never gonna use like I've never used more than $30 so even if you set it at 50 you're not gonna use it on a daily basis but nonetheless it will trick Amazon thinking that okay this is a priority listing we gotta push it higher so that's very important and then you got to set your campaign dates, how many days you're going to do the PPC campaign for. You're going to use the same keywords that we generated here in the back end, okay, the 100. So you see how everything is connected. And you're going to set your uh, key phrase budget. So um, the default is about 75 cents per phrase uh, if it's searched specifically and they actually click on your listing but i would like to actually again go and trick amazon's algorithm and put it for 150 now it's gonna push a little bit now you need a little bit of advertising dollars for this so if you want to start with the first two which is uh, absolutely the first one is really important you gotta optimize your listing you have to have the keywords that you really really need and you you need to know what kind of keywords to use which is where merchant word comes into play and then you gotta come up with a title from these keywords that i've shown you guys you gotta come up with a really good title that makes sense and then when you do giveaways you have to make sure that the people you send it to are using these keywords in order to search for your product on amazon because Amazon, like, first of all, your product will pop up as soon as the whole title is searched, right? So it's great. People can click on your product right away. Amazon is going to say, hey, this product is really popular. People are clicking right away. So um, that's the whole thing. The whole thing is to basically um, kind of play with how the algorithm works and trick it into thinking that your product is actually selling at a faster rate. And even with giveaways, 90% or what have you, um, yes, it is a little bit of money. So that's why if you can do those first two things, then get into PPC once you have a little bit of traction with sales, that's perfect. So that's it, guys. Again, um, just to reiterate, optimize your listing. Make sure your backing keywords are great and you search for them on Merchant Words. Um, do giveaways and make sure that you're giving away the same number of units that your top competitor is selling in a day and you're going to do that for, uh, for three to four days in a row. All right. And the third thing is PPC campaign. Make sure you set it a bit higher, your daily budget to trick the algorithm thinking that this listing is priority because it's all about money, right? For Amazon. So that's what they're going to do. 
I hope you guys learned something valuable today. I know this is really going to help you guys with the launch and really understand how Amazon's algorithm works. So um, that's what it is. You have to make sure that you understand how it works and how to use it to your advantage. Drop your comments below. Let me know if you have, guys have any specific questions. Um, I'm going to get into more in-depth uh, research on these three methods later on, but I wanted to give you guys the information, the most important information ahead of time so that you can, if you're already starting your listing, that you're thinking about these things. Thanks again. Subscribe if you haven't already. I appreciate your viewership. And if you have any comments, let me know if you have any specific questions or videos you would like to see or topics you would like me to cover. Put it in the comments below and I'll happy to do them. Thanks again, guys. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys on Wednesday. Bye.